outrageous sex secrets uncovered. Mari begins right now. These women all fear the men they love are cheating behind their back. I'm not taking it no more. She thinks her husband called her by mistake while he was having sex with another woman. One day I checked my voicemail. He was talking about take it down slow. Take it down slow. He says he's never cheated on his wife. What about the phone message? Hearing somebody take it down slow. He's well, always drunk. To take he it don't down know. Slow he don't... I'm going to tell him to go faster. But a lie detector test will expose the truth. You better hope you pass this test. The lie detector test determined. She fell in love with Stuart when he was homeless. She took Stuart in, gave him clothes, food, a job, and now she's beside herself to think that he's cheating behind her back. He's asked me to do a lot of things I would not do in bed. He wants me to perform. Oh, I didn't have to know that. Is he actually cheating on the woman who gave him a place to live? The lie detector test determined. Plus. To see if her boyfriend would cheat on her, Michelle pretended to be another woman on a chat line. She says he would have cheated with this other woman. He was going to come and visit, or maybe he wants to meet up. But he says he knew it was Michelle all along. I played along with it because I knew it was her the whole time. The lie detector test will reveal more than she ever imagined. What stripper do you know? Hidden sex lies exposed. <laughs> Next. Everyone, this is Sean. Welcome, Sean, to the show. Now, now, Sean is 38 years old. I say that because her husband, Sean Say, is 27. And they met at the barber shop. She claims they felt an instant connection. Four months later, they got married. And that's when Sean says everything went downhill, because that's when Sean began to suspect that Chauncey was cheating with other women. Watch. When I met my husband, Chauncey, I just knew he was the one for me. That all changed when he totally became a different person. I believe in all my heart that my husband is cheating on me. I think he's sleeping with my family members. I can't take it anymore. One day, I checked my voicemail, and Chauncey was on there. He was talking about take it down slow take it down slow. I do think that he was having sex with another girl when he called my phone. I am sick and I am disgusted when he does these things to me. I don't deserve the stuff that I take from Chauncey, and I'm not taking it no more. Sleeping with your family members? Getting these sexy voicemails? I mean, there's a lot to talk about here. I haven't who he stuffed burritos with and um, at his job. No, 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 they were, no, they worked at a burrito restaurant together, right? Yes. And so he called me one night and was like, I'm going to go play cards. And I'm like, well, aren't I going to go play with you? Nah, I'm going to go play with your family member. And I'm like, what are you, I mean, I can't go. I'm not allowed to go. I mean, wh wh what makes you think that you can go play with family members and I can't go play with your family members? So, you know, I don't understand what the problem is. So, are you seriously telling me that you had a voicemail message? I had with... a voicemail message, Mari, and it was him on the other end, and it was, take it down slow. <laughs> take it down slow. So... And I'm thinking to myself, either he's having sex with somebody or he's having oral sex, and I'm thinking, God, I hope his underwear are clean because they usually have <laughs> things in them. <laughs> John, you can really tell a story. All right. One time he told you that he did cheat on you twice, and then he took it back. Yeah, this was just last weekend. He, he came in the house and he was like, you want another truth? You want another truth? I slept with two girls. What, what kind of women do you think he likes? He likes white women. He, the, every time he gets mad at me, he says, I can't wait till she falls in my lap and she's going to be white. I can't wait till she falls in my lap. Also, he has a pattern. Usually, at the end of the month, he leaves. Why? 
because he's a loser. And when he gets his little bit of money, he thinks that he can just leave and go trick it up with whoever he wants to trick it up with. Well, guess what? I want to drop him off wherever he wants to go and trick up his money with at the end of the month. Take your stuff with you. Well, Sean Say had this to say. My wife, Sean, needs to know that I had never, ever cheated on her during our relationship. I love my wife. This is the person who I married and who I wanted to be with, and I never pictured our life to be like this. She's constantly accusing me of cheating, checking my voicemail, changing my passwords. I just want all the accusations to stop. If I wanted to be with a white woman, I would have married a white woman. Sean believes that I leave to stick her with the bills, and that's a lie. I work just as hard as she does to support our household. Sean needs to realize that she's ruined our relationship, not me. Everybody, here's Chauncey. Here he is. There's a lot of evidence floating around here. Man, that's man, that evidence is false. It's not false, man. Mark, because it's, he told he told me he cheated. He told me he cheated. But he took Come it back. on, and then he tried to it. take it back. He, it back. he always reason, says that he tells the truth, so why would not believe him? The only reason why I did that is because I saw I wanted to show her how I feel to have a hurt feelings. But he always cut it out. I like that. <laughs> He can come up with some answers. Yeah, well, they're not good answers, so. Yeah. What, well, we're going to see some real what answers. About, what about the phone message? Man, I don't even wreck a caller hearing somebody take it down slow. He's what always drunk. To take he it don't down know. Slow he don't even I'm remember turn it down yesterday. Faster. He's always he don't slow He don't ever remember because he's drunk, y'all. He's drunk. You don't like other women? I don't got nothing against no women. Huh? I don't got nothing against no women. So I don't... you don't say to me, uh, I'm, I'm a, uh, that white girl's gonna fall in my lap. You don't say that to me. Oh, yeah, when well, you be tripping. How come you conveniently leave at the end of the month? It's like that's the only time she want to argue. Every time when it's the end of the month, oh, when, she ain't got her... oh, when she ain't got her... That's it's crap. always a problem. I work, I got a job. Here oh. we go. Mm. We're gonna go right here. You better hope you pass this test. We asked you, were you having sexual intercourse with a woman when Sean heard you say, take it down slow? You said no. The lie detector test determined you're telling the truth. You better be glad you're telling the truth. We got yeah. a few more to go. Yeah. Got a few more to go. We asked you, are you attracted to white women more than you're attracted to black women? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. That We asked you, did you accuse Sean of cheating because you were having sexual intercourse with another woman? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. We asked you, we asked you, did you have you any type of sexual contact from your co-worker from the burrito restaurant? And said no, the lie detector test determined that was a lie. <laughs> we asked Sean overheard you talking about having sex. We asked you when Sean overheard you talking about having sex with a Caucasian woman, did you in fact have sexual intercourse with her? You said no, the lie detector test determined that was a lie. <laughs> What, what I, need, I didn't fail? need a lie detector test to determine. Man, that's a, a bold-faced lie. Apologize about what? I didn't cheat. That's the whole thing. I was nervous, one, and then he kept drooling me with the same question. So it just it is what okay. it is. If I cheated, Whatever. I would have just gone and said it. You know okay. what I'm saying? And lie detector tests don't lie. Are they still together, or did Sean file for divorce? Those. You didn't pass yours. The incredible answer is coming up. She fell in love with Stuart when he was homeless. She took Stuart in, gave him clothes, food, a job, and now she's beside herself to think that he's cheating behind her back. He's asked me to do a lot of things I would not do in bed. He wants me to perform. Oh, I didn't have to know that. 
Is he actually cheating on the woman who gave him a place to live? The lie detector does determine. Hidden sex lies exposed. Next. Everyone, this is Alexandra. Welcome, Alexandra. So, so, Alexandra met and fell in love with her boyfriend, Stuart, when he was at a homeless shelter. And she happened to be volunteering at the shelter. And Alexandra says she took Stuart in to live with her, gave him clothes, food, a job, and a beautiful baby boy named Nathan. So how... So how did Stuart repay her for all this? Alexandra says he cheated. That's what he did. <laughs> Alexandra says... Alexandra says that Stuart has called her another woman's name while making love. She found an earring by their bed. Stuart came home with scratches, glitter on his body. And she's desperate to uncover the truth. What? I've been with my fiance, Stuart, for over two years now. We used to be perfect together. I strongly believe that he's cheating on me with other women. He comes home with scratches on his back and glitters on his shirt. I can't believe he would do something like this to me. I met him when he was homeless, and I put a roof on top of his head. I gave him our greatest gift, our three-month-old Nathan. I took him from nothing to something. I gave up my family and my friends for him. And now I feel like if he fails the test, I won't have anybody. So, we gave Alexandra's boyfriend, Stuart, a lie detector test. She's about to find out the results of that test. But you've done everything for him. Yeah, I have, Mari. You pulled him out of a homeless shelter. Yes, I have, Mari. In fact, he calls you names, right? Yes, sir. In fact, your brother is here. You know that? Yeah. Your brother David is here. Yes, he's, he's right there. Set. <laughs> David, what's Stuart done to her? What's he, what, what's he done? He calls her fat. He calls her names. Always pulling her down. He's never really there for her. You think her. he's cheated on her? Oh, yeah. You all work together, right? They, yep. He works in your family's business, right? Yeah. All right? So you know where he is during the day. Yeah. So, so you get off work, he gets off work, you come home. And he he's home an hour and a half, two hours later. Or I'll wake up in the morning. I'll wake up in the morning getting ready to go to work and he's not even in the house. Do you talk to him about this? No. I mean, there, there's no talking to him. He's so hard-headed and, I mean, all we do is do scream at each other. you talk to him other. about calling your sister names? Yeah, but it just ends up turning into a fight between us. Okay. You found an earring? Where'd you find an earring? I found it right next to the bed, Mari. I was coming in, I was cleaning, and it was right there. He's asked me to do a lot of things I would not do in bed. Really? That makes me think that he might be cheating again. Oh, you mean sexually? Yeah, sexually. He asked you to do things you don't want to do? Yes, Mari. And so you figure, why, where, where's he getting all this? He wants me to perform with him. Oh, I didn't have to know that. is he came home one day yeah. and his breath smelled like oh. and he... <laughs> and he doesn't like Well, uh, Alexandra, I think you have painted a rather graphic picture here. <laughs> Everybody welcome Stuart. Here's Stuart. <laughs> Stuart. Yes. You love this woman very much. I mean, I mean, I told, I, I gave a little bit of the backstory. You're in a homeless shelter. Yes, I was. You meet her. You end up with her. She, she gives you the, your child. She takes you out. She gives you a home. She gives you a place to work. She, I mean, she does everything for you. Mm -hmm. I understand you, that. So therefore, you wouldn't cheat on her. Right? No, why would I cheat on her? I love her to death. I might call her name. <laughs> She's so convinced that you're cheating. Because I might come home late. Yeah. I work with her family. 
Uh, there's a. What there's... about the scratches? What about the when glitter? You do, when you do construction work, more boring. When you do construction work, you might come home with a scratch. Okay, a bump, but why whatever. do you always answer? I don't know. Because I'm at work. How I'm about the Google. earring in the bedroom? It wasn't mine. Then who's was it? I don't it, might, it might have been yours when we moved. Alexandra, if he doesn't pass this test, what's going to happen? We're done. You're done. We're done. Okay, here we go. We asked you, do you resent Alexandra for gaining 100 pounds? You admitted that you resent her for gaining all that weight. <laughs> we asked you if the scratches on your back came from a woman you were having sexual contact with. You said no. The lie detector test determined you're telling the truth. Yeah. We asked you if the earring Alexandra found in your bedroom came from another woman you were having sexual intercourse with. You said no. The lie detector test determined you were telling the truth. Told you. Since you've been with Alexandria, have you had sexual intercourse with any other woman other than Alexandria? You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. So this is what I say. This is what I say. <laughs> Alexandra, you have to have a little more trust and faith in him. Okay. And, Stuart, stop calling her names. Well, yeah. I got one thing to say. <laughs> Allie, will you marry me? To see if her boyfriend would cheat on her, Michelle pretended to be another woman on a chat line. She says he would have cheated with this other woman. He was gonna come and visit, or maybe he wants to meet up. But he says he knew it was Michelle all along. I played along with it because I knew it was her the whole time. The lie detector test will reveal more than she ever imagined. What stripper do you know? My name is Byron Brown. I'm the anti-lawyer lawyer. It makes my blood boil when people like this threaten you, take your money. I fight for the little guy. Sent me a screenshot of my address that I sent him to receive the wigs and told me that he'll come to my house if I didn't leave him alone. I'm just so confused by this. I'll judge your situation and I'll tell you straight out if you've got a case. I never said the word sex or suggested anything having to do with sex. Again, the police aren't doing anything wrong. Byron, I don't like the law in this situation. So get ready to soak in 265 pounds of pure justice. That was the, the comment that got me fired. Know that you're the punk. May not be the answer you want. Don't do that. No, she can't. Don't do that. No, no, no. But it will be the judgment you need. Wait, do not tell me that he doesn't have a case. He though. doesn't have a case. Are you serious? Yeah, honestly. Because it's time to get judged by me, Big B. Hit sex lives exposed. <laughs> Next. Everyone, this is Michelle. Welcome, Michelle, to the show. Now, I want to show you a picture of Michelle and her boyfriend, Cedric, and their one-year-old son, Cedric III. Now, what the photo does not show you is how fed up that Michelle is with suspecting that Cedric is cheating on her. Michelle is so determined to uncover the truth that once she posed as a strange woman on a dating chat line to see if Cedric would take the bait. <laughs> Guess what? He did. <laughs> but Cedric claims he knew that he was being set up. And today the truth is going to come out when we reveal the results of a lie detector test that Cedric took. Has he lied to you before in the past about women? Yes, in the beginning of our relationship, he told me that he, um, or he wanted to break up with me to have sex with another girl. Oh. Ended up having sex. And then, and then three weeks later, three weeks later, he told me that he had sex with her. And then we got back together. You know, I forgave him. Uh -huh. And it just, I can't trust him after that. Ever since then? Okay. What happened when you went on the chat line? Now, that's interesting. I went on there. And I posed as another girl. 
And I changed my name. I asked him, you know, well, do you ever come to visit? He said, you know, yeah, my dad lives down there and he was gonna come and visit or maybe come move down here. He wants to meet up. I gave him my friend's number. I was like, well, okay, you know, send me a picture to my phone. I gave him my friend's phone number. And? And he ended up calling her, you know, and she pretended, she pretended that she was, you know, the girl. the girl on the chat line. What'd you find in his bathroom? Some makeup that belonged, it looked like, you know, a white girl's makeup. Like it was, it was real light. It was and what did he say? Powder. Where did he say it came from? He said from? it was makeup. She uses yeah. it for eyeshadow. This is what Cedric had to say. Watch. My relationship with Michelle was over months ago, because all she do is accuse me of cheating. Michelle thinks I had sex with one of my good friends just because she stayed at my house one night. Nothing happened, I swear. Michelle thinks she busted me on the dating chat line. She made up a fake screen name and started talking to me like some random girl. I played along with it because I knew it was her the whole time. I did not cheat on Michelle with one of her friends. I wasn't trying to get with her, it was nothing like that. Michelle looks the one destroying this relationship. I love her, but she needs to get off my back. Here's Cedric, everybody. Cedric, come on out. Cedric. You knew she was on that chat line. I did. No, no, you didn't. Because who, what girl? I have lost. A lot of on. girls just sit there hey, and let, try to holler at guys. Let me talk. Let me talk. Let me talk. A lot of girls let sit there and talk. try to holler at guys. Can it's okay. not just can me. I talk? Yeah, you can. can. Talk? Okay, Michelle. Be don't quiet. no let girl, me. as long as I've been getting on there, don't no girl just come out and say, oh, how you doing? Let's talk. I do that. I, knew that I was can you. do that. I knew Any that. Any other girl can sit there. Hey, if they like a boy, if they want to holler at a boy, they can sit there and talk. Nope. Cedric. Mm -mm. Cedric. Where did that makeup come from? My oh, I don't know. Dark as hell. Dark as hell. I don't, I don't know. Well, guess All what? Right. You too. You too. You too. We're going to find right now. Find out right now. Okay. All right. Here we go. Cedric, you were asked if the makeup Michelle found in your bathroom you said belonged to your family member really belonged to a girl you had sexual intercourse with during your relationship with Michelle. You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. <laughs> you were asked if during your relationship with Michelle you had sexual intercourse with a woman that you met on a dating chat line. You said no. The lie detector determined you were telling the truth. <laughs> You were asked if during your relationship with Michelle you ever had sexual intercourse with her friend whose number you got out of Michelle's phone. You said no. The lie detector determined you were telling the truth. <laughs> you were asked if when Michelle made a fake screen name on the chat line pretending to be another woman, if you really knew it was Michelle setting you up, you said you knew. The lie detector determined that was a lie. <laughs> Well, I had a feeling. I mean, <laughs> you had a feeling. You were asked. You were asked if during your relationship, Michelle, have you ever had sexual intercourse with a stripper? You admitted to our lie detector administrator you did in fact have sexual intercourse with a stripper. If during your relationship with Michelle, other than the one woman what she already knows about. What stripper do you about, know? No, no, no. Let, let him finish. Let him finish. You were asked if during your relationship with Michelle, other than the one woman she already knows about, have you ever had sexual intercourse with a woman other than Michelle? You admitted to having sex with two other women. The lie detector determined you've had sex with more than five women. <laughs> Anyway. It was over anyway. Yeah, it was over anyway. Yeah, it's over. It this, was over before it started. This relationship okay. is over? It's over. Yeah. What's over? Your relationship? It's been over. It's over. It's been over. Between the two of you. Yeah.
We'll be back right after this. A family in utter turmoil. James treats their daughter like a princess, yet completely denies their son. Oh my golly. God never really told me he slept with Randy, so I feel this can possibly be his child. Will the DNA test bring this family back together or make it split apart forever? James? You are the father. Get off my stage. Hit sex lives exposed. <laughs> Next. Imagine trying to explain to your young child why they are being treated differently by their daddy. Now, for my next guest, Randy, this is her reality. You see, James, the love of her life, is denying that he's the father of her two-year-old son, Servani. What makes his story even more heart-wrenching is that James is an excellent father to their five-year-old daughter, Jamisha. So James treats Jamisha like a little princess while he treats Servani like a stranger. And the relationship is hanging in the balance. So Randy is determined today to prove the truth through a DNA test and a lie detector test. Why? I've been with James for seven years, and he was my best friend. But these past couple of years, things changed, especially when I was pregnant with Servani. James is convinced that I cheated on him and Servani is not his son. He treats Servani very differently from Jamisha. He tells Servani, let's go find your daddy. I love James so much and I don't understand why he can't accept Servani. I gained 100 pounds going through this emotional stress denying my son. Now, Servani's two. Yes. You think he notices anything different? Yeah, I think so, because I could see in his eyes when James, you know, grab him by the hand and say, let's go find your daddy. And he looks up at him like, Oh, my golly, he says that about? to him? How is he with Jamisha? He's wonderful with Jamisha. He so he's a good father. He's proven yeah. to be a good father. Yeah, he's a good father. Except in this case. No, not with Servani. What happened at the hospital when you gave birth? Um, Savani was born with a club foot, and James cried. And he said, I'm crying because I feel sorry for your baby, not because it's my son. Well, this is what James had to say. Watch. My relationship with Randy is on the rocks. I don't know what to do. It's a lot of suffering, a lot of heartache. A woman should know who she loves and who she want to be with and should know not to make no mistakes. And I feel Randy has made a lot of mistakes. I need to know the truth about my son, Savani, in order to move on with my life. Since the first day Randy told me she was pregnant, I knew Savani could not be my child. A guy in the neighborhood told me he slept with Randy, so I feel this can possibly be his child instead of mine. I have a five-year-old daughter with Randy named Jamisha, which I know is my child. If I find out Savani is not my son, I'm going to be very disappointed because Randy should have told me this in the beginning. Welcome James to the show. James, come on out. I want to congratulate you on being a good father to your daughter. James? How can you treat that little boy any different? I don't feel he minds. You know, if you had a child with a woman, and I mean, if you had a child with any woman, I mean, you should automatically off the back of man should know if it's a child or not. Why you don't believe me? Why you don't believe me? You should understand how this person. I ain't worried about how I'm being not. Off the back, a man should know how you know what I'm saying. Somebody don't share no no features of me or nothing. He don't have to look Wait, like you. You don't he think they like you me. don't think you have any? Nah, nah, uh-uh. I'm tired of being hurt. I'm tired of crying at night by myself. I'm tired of it. By the way, James, if you're wrong, you'll beg her forgiveness, won't you? Most definitely. I don't have a problem with that. Well, guess what? First, we're gonna get the uh, the results of the DNA test. Then we're going to get the lie detector test. And we're going to find out exactly what's going on. Right. In the case of two-year-old Servani, James, you are the father. <laughs> Wait, wait, 
wait, wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, no. Now you need to I can't. I, no, no. I now can't go on a woman's me. word all the time because women. You no, need uh, to hell, no. I can't. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. You can't uh, uh, believe what I say. I can't go on a women's. You can't no, what I no. I can't. I can't go on a women. No. Now you need to hug him and squeeze him with all your heart and apologize to him. Nah, man. You need to apologize to him. Where you at? Can I get him where you at? Don't you want the lie detector test too? Yeah, bring it. What it is, show biz, bring it. We asked Randy. Around the time you got pregnant with Cervani, did you have sex with anyone other than James? You said no. The lie detector test determined you were telling the truth. Thank you. Now what? James, we asked Randy, have you had sexual contact of any kind with anyone other than James during your entire relationship with him? You said no. The lie detector test determined you're telling the truth. No more stress, me. right? No more no, no, stress. No more, no more stress at all. No okay, more. and I'm glad that you. I'm glad you're a stand-up guy. Thank you so much. One year ago, Christy confessed her secret. Cheated on you. Kaylee might not be yours. <laughs> you are the father. Matt was proven to be the father, but today they're back because she thinks he's cheating out of revenge. And what happens after this lie detector test is unbelievable. Takes like your own medicine, huh? My name is Byron Brown. I'm the anti-lawyer lawyer. It makes my blood boil when people like this threaten you, take your money. I fight for the little guy. He sent me a screenshot of my address that I sent him to receive the wigs and told me that he'll come to my house if I didn't leave him alone. I'm just so confused by this. I'll judge your situation and I'll tell you straight out if you've got a case. I never said the word sex or suggested anything having to do with sex. Again, the police aren't doing anything wrong. Byron, I don't like the law in this situation. So get ready to soak in 265 pounds of pure justice. That was the, the comment that got me fired. Know that you're the punk. May not be the answer you want. Don't do that. No, she can't. Don't do that. No, no, no. But it will be the judgment you need. Wait, do not tell me that he doesn't have a case. He though. doesn't have a case. Are you serious? Yeah, honestly. Because it's time to get judged by me, Big B. Hit sex lives exposed. <laughs> Next. Christy brought her fiancé, Matt, to our show to reveal to him she had secretly cheated and that their three-year-old daughter, Kaylee, might not be his. Aww. Luckily, the DNA test proved Matt was the father, and the couple <laughs> vowed to wipe the slate clean and be a family. But today, Christy is back because she believes Matt has gone back on his promise to forgive her and is now having revenge sex with other women. Aww. Take a agonizing journey. Just six months ago, we met Christy when she had a devastating secret to reveal to her fiancé, Matt. I cheated on you. Kaylee might not be yours. <laughs> so what? You kept that for me for how long? And you slept with him how many times? I mean, once. are you serious? You slept with him once and you're worried that Kaylee's not mine? After a DNA test and many agonizing days of waiting, the results were finally in. Matt, you are the father. Both Matt and Christy said they would have a clean slate and start to rebuild their family. But things haven't turned out that way. After the last show, Matt told me that we would have trust in each other and rebuild our relationship so we could get married, but he lied to me. I found pictures, I found text messages. I feel that Matt has been having sex with other women because of my one mistake. He's not just hurting me, he's hurting our family. Right now, I'm not wearing my engagement ring because I don't feel I should. I won't put that ring back on my finger until I know he passes his test. What happened after you got home? When we got back home, it was a living nightmare. He started going out. He, he did? He stayed out all night long. So what do you think? You think this is his I revenge? I think he's cheated on me. I found text messages. I found pictures in his wallet. He stayed out all night. I've checked his stains on his boxers. Where do you think he goes? To a female friend's house, who he says that they're just friends, but I don't think they are. So he's denied all the 
methods of cheating. He has. Okay. Here's what Matt had to say, watch. Christy, I'm here today to prove to you I'm not cheating on you. You mean the world to me? You're the mother of my kids, but I can't stand your suspicions. I was so happy to find out I was Kaylee's father, but I can't enjoy being in her life with you constantly harassing me. If I sleep at other people's houses, it's to get away from your nagging. Not because I'm cheating on you. That blue bra you found belongs to a family member. It's not another woman's, and you know that. Christy, I need for you to trust me. And when I pass this test, let's move forward. Let's get married and put all this behind us. All right, everybody, here's Matt. Matt, come on out. Yeah! Have a seat. Matt, she's not wearing the engagement ring. You know that. Yeah, I got it. You've got it? Yep. You're going to put it back on her hand? I don't know. She's so jealous lately that I, you know why? Really? It's a mess. Are you serious? Oh, She's accusing me of the bras, everything. It's well, you are cheating. Give me I a break. I took a lie detector test. Read and the it's going to be proven. Okay, let's read the results. All right. Well, guess what? We've got a lie detector test. We're going to find out all about it. <laughs> we asked you if you cheated on Christy as revenge for her cheating on the last show. You said no. The lie detector test determined. The results are next, and what happens is unbelievable. Take some your own medicine, huh? <laughs> text messages. I feel that Matt has been having sex with other women because of my one mistake. So what's going to happen if he fails? I'm leaving. I'm going. You are? Christy, I'm here today to prove to you I'm not cheating on you. You mean the world to me? You're the mother of my kids, but I can't stand your suspicions. Let's get married and put all this behind us. <laughs> We asked you, when Christy says you disappear and don't go home, is it because you are having sex with other women? You said no. The That's lie a lie. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. Are you serious? <laughs> we asked you if you cheated on Christy as revenge for her cheating on the last show. You said no. The lie detector test determined I wish I could. that was a lie. So it was revenge. Are you serious? Dr. This Jeff. Is how you do it to me? Dr. Jeff. Five years of my life for you? Ralph. Ralph. Yeah, I wasn't with her. Wait, wait. What did I tell he you? Justify, he justifies his yeah. cheating by after they argue. Yeah. Then he goes out and no, does no, no, it. No, no, no. If we're broken up, if we're broken up, up, yes, He's I can do whatever up, I want to do. I was. Forever. That's great. If you want to know the real truth, I'm telling you. Yeah, tell me if right he was now. broken up for two, three weeks, it's not your business. I'm going to do what I want to do. You want me to do it too? Wait a minute. No, no, if no, you're if broken up, up, up with if me, up, if you're broken up, up do. if you're broken up for two to three oh, years, gonna go to the then it's shop. understandable yeah, that right. perhaps you want to work it out by cheating. But if you're broken up for two to three weeks, this you don't need to be in another woman's bed, my brother. This is coming from the cheater. Take some your own medicine, huh? At least I cheat with somebody I actually love. Take some your own medicine, huh? I hate you. Officially. Yeah, that's good. We are done. Good. Take See, go back to the girl's it's house. Already, I don't have nothing at your house, all right? Good. I already left you a long I'm time glad. ago. We're you done. just don't realize We're it. We're done. See you That's that great. Later. See you later. The lie detector test determined her husband was cheating. That was a lie. No, he was cheating on me. I know Are they still together, or did Sean <laughs> file for divorce? No, you didn't pass. The answer is next. Hidden sex lies exposed. <laughs> next. Earlier, we met a 38-year-old woman named Sean who feared that her 27-year-old husband, Chauncey, was secretly cheating behind her back. You better hope you pass this test. Did you, in fact, have sexual intercourse with her 
You said no, the lie detector test determined that was a lie. Yeah, I knew he was cheating on me. I knew it. I knew it's your fault. I know. I never cheat, I knew man. It. Man, you crazy as hell, man. I don't even know what she's leaving for. Oh, goodness. Done. Backstage, Chauncey said there was nothing to apologize for. Apologize about what? I didn't cheat. That's the whole thing. I was nervous, one, and then he kept drilling me with the same questions. So it just it is okay. what it is. If I cheated, Whatever. I would have just gone and said it. You know okay. what I'm saying? Lie detector test about? don't lie. I'm done. It looks like okay. Sean is ready to walk away and okay. end her marriage for good. Right. We wish her the best of luck. Until next time, America.